Hi, my name is Tim Wilson and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor as well as being a partner at Red Memory Box Adobe Training. I'd like to take you through my top 10 Photoshop shortcuts, but first it's rather nice to have a face to match the voice, so this is what I look like. Uh, no. That's a bit better. But let's get started. The shortcuts I'm going to show you are the ones that I use when I'm working and they really will speed up your workflow. Let's go. Number one is the tab key. The tab key will show and hide all of your panels and toolbar. Now this is one of those ones that if you don't know about it and you hit it by mistake and you wonder where have your tools gone, well, tab again and it'll bring them back. Number two, shift tab. Shift tab is really cool because if you hold down the shift key and then press tab, you can hide all of your panels but not the tools. So you can work away with your tools, then just shift tab to bring back the panels. If you're like me, you've got panels all over the show and this is a really easy way of working. Number three is F. No control F, no command F, just F. What the F key does is it changes your screen mode. So you can go between standard screen, full screen, and full screen without any menus or panels. Really, really useful that one. Number four, the square bracket. The left square bracket or the right square bracket. By pressing the square brackets, either the left or the right, you can make your brush larger or smaller. Left for smaller, right for larger. Just keep pressing and it'll get bigger or smaller. Tip number five, we are nearly halfway there. Now shift and the left square bracket makes your brush softer. Shift and the right square bracket makes it harder. Just hold down the shift key and press the left or the right square bracket to make the brush harder or softer. Number six. Now this will depend on whether you're on a Mac or a PC as to what shortcut you use. If you're on a Mac and you hold down the Control and Alt key and then click and drag you'll be able to make the brush larger and smaller or softer and harder. If you're on a PC and you Alt and click with the right button then you can once again make the brush larger or smaller or softer or harder depending on whether you drag left, right or up and down. So, dragging left and right makes the brush larger and smaller, up and down to make it harder or softer. Now you should see a red preview of the brush hardness and size, but if you don't, don't worry about it, it'll still work. It's really got to do with the graphics card on your machine as to whether you can see it or not. Number seven is the D key. Now most people know that if you use Control or Command D, it's for deselect in Photoshop. But if you just press the D key by itself, you will be changing your foreground and background colors to the default, which is pure black and pure white. This is very useful if you're going to be working on layer masks and you need a pure white or black. Tip number eight is the X key. Now, of course, if you are working on a layer mask, you'll want to flick between black and white really quickly so that you can either show or hide the layer. Now, what X does is it flicks your foreground and your background color over, really speeding up working and erasing and showing on masks. Tip number nine, we are nearly at the end. Command plus, command minus or command zero on the Mac or control plus, control minus or control zero on the PC. These are your zoom in, zoom out and fit to screen shortcuts for Mac or PC. Tip number 10, this is the last one I'm afraid, but it's the space bar. By holding down the space bar, you can change whatever tool you're in, well except for the type tool, into the hand tool so that you can move around on your document. This is really good because those little buttons on the right hand side and at the bottom for scrolling around are just so unbelievably annoying. Well, that's it for the shortcuts, but fear not, there'll be plenty more videos coming very, very shortly. Of course, you can always visit us at redmemorybox.com for free 
training tutorials. Finally, go forth and give the software a thorough thrashing. And don't forget, enjoy it.